Hey, good morning, everybody. So, I owe you a book review. A uh, week or so ago, I finished up the book Breath of the Dragon by Shannon Lee and Fonda Lee. Uh, actually, Fonda Lee's probably point on that, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Um, it is basically what you're expecting. It is a book about a young gentleman named June, and by young, I mean when we meet him, I think he's like six or seven, so he's like super young. And he lives in a empire that has been split down the middle. His side is not allowed to practice martial arts unless you're one of the elite. And to be one of the elite, you have to be what they call breath marked. Uh, basically, breath of the dragon, it's some sort of mark on your body that gives you some uh, sort of ability. Some of these abilities are mental, psychic. Some of these abilities are obviously physical. Things like unbreakable bones, claws, you name it. Uh, the storyline itself, I know on the Goodreads review I said that if you liked The Rage of Dragons, you're going to love this book. Uh, I feel more like it's... If you would have liked The Rage of the Dragons, you would love this book. I feel like this book... If anybody's ever read both The Stand and Swan Song, um, a lot of people who've read those books, they liked both books, but they liked whichever one they read first better because they feel like they're very similar. I feel like this is the same way. If you read Evan Winter's The Rage of the Dragon first, you're going to love it more. If you read Breath of the Dragon first, you're probably going to love it more. They're very similar from the beginning. It starts out a little different, and it ends a little different, but a lot of the journey is kind of the same. But, that being said, I absolutely gave The Rage of the Dragons uh, a five star. And the only thing that was holding this book back for me was the fact that a lot of the stuff seemed similar. So, I realized if I'd read this by itself, this, this book's also a five star. Like I said, June, uh, he gets separated from his family because... He gets caught showing off his martial arts prowess that his dad has been teaching him in secret uh, because his twin brother happens to be breathmarked and they come to take him away to train him in the Citadel because, again, those of you who are breathmarked on this side of the Empire, uh, you, you get to practice it. You get to be kind of a, a guard of the king. Uh, downside is, of course, that you're not supposed to be doing this. You could be put to death. They show a little mercy. They banish him and his father. They've got to go to the other side of the kingdom, which is kind of funny because the rest of the kingdom, the rest of the empire, it's no big deal. Everybody's allowed to practice martial arts. But they weren't on the other side. They were on this side. But it's a banishment. They're supposed to be gone for like, I think it was like seven years. Sorry, I finished this a little while back. And not giving any spoilers here. Uh, this is stuff you find out in the first couple chapters. Uh, but in the meantime, things break down. The border gets closed. And now, even though their banishment is up, they can't get back over. So he kind of grows up away from his mom and brother. His whole thing is, I've got to win the tournament, become a guardian. Every six years is a tournament. Because once I become the guardian, I will be second in the kingdom only to the emperor. And I'll have his ear. And then we can see what we can do about being able to open the borders again so I can see my family. And the rest of it all is all that trip. It's, you know, what he does to get there. Um, the fact that he's going up against people who are breath marked and he's not. Again, if you've read Rage of the Dragons, it's kind of that whole idea. is like, oh, I just... Blinked on his name. Tao? I think it was Tao in Rage of the Dragon. Um, I may be wrong. Evan Winter, don't kill me for that. But the fact that he was a regular guy and he had to go up against people with noble blood, which is what the Rage of the Dragon special thing was. But yeah, it's. Uh, I won't go into any details from there. Even though this kind of has the whole golden child trope going through it, it she, first of all, it's fun to leave right in it. Obviously, she's an excellent author. And B, she throws just enough intrigue and curveballs and stuff at you that even though you kind of see where the main storyline is going, 
you you still veer off here and there, so it keeps it interesting. I, again, despite the fact that it's got that trope, I'm still giving it a five star because the story to me was that enjoyable. Love the characters, love the writing, love the descriptions. Uh, also, finally, is one of those ones where. I mean, yeah, you have those descriptions, but she doesn't spend four pages telling you about the scenery. <laughs> a lot of action going on, a lot of scheming, a lot of plotting. And and that's it. A uh, couple of heart-wrenching moments. Again, won't go into details, but I think you're going to love it. Give it a try. I have got to read Jade City. It's on my TBR now. In fact, I'm thinking I'm going to throw Jade City on my next uh, community poll just to see if y'all pick it for me. But we'll see what happens. All right. Love you guys. Hope you're having a great one. Hope you're having some five-star reads. I think you're going to like it. Check it out. I believe this book comes out in January. I know I know it's early, but uh, thanks to NetGalley for letting me read the ARC. They gave me 48 hours to do it, which is probably why it got done. <laughs> Because I, I, I do better with I do better with time frames. What can I say? I had a deadline. Had to get that knocked out. Um, but like I said, put it on your calendar. I don't know if I've got January twenty five in mind because it's coming out on the twenty fifth, or because next year's two thousand twenty five. But it's in January. Look it up. I should have looked it up before I hit record. You know, show prep. I don't do that here. Have a good one, guys. I will catch you later.